I thought I'd show you a new tote bag that I'll be offering in my Etsy shop. It has an autumn leaf design, vibrant colors, and it's very sturdy. I really like how this handle is made. There's also a flap on the inside to hold notions, and I was able to put my logo on it, and I think it looks really cute. A couple of weekends ago, Joe and I took a drive about two hours down to Harrisville Designs, which is an old mill in Harrisville, New Hampshire. I was able to buy this gorgeous yarn called Daylights in the color Over Easy, which is dusted with a little yellow. It's a DK weight, 250 yards, woolen spun, American Cormo, and wool. I also got one skein of this Nightshades, which is the same yarn, only the color is vinyl. And it's just, they're a beautiful, beautiful DK weight yarn. And I'm hoping to design some sort of cardigan with it. I'm happy to say I just finished knitting another pair of socks. Uh, using my magic heel method. I used some wool that I, some sock yarn wool. It was a 75% merino, 25% nylon that I had hand dyed. Oh, I'm not sure, maybe in the spring. I was really happy with the way this, these micro stripes turned out. I think they look super cool on the sock and they're some of my favorite fall colors so i can't wait to put them on my feet the fit is perfect the more i make them the better i get the fit i think that's the case with most people with their sock knitting i just picked this little butternut squash from the garden it was the only one that really did anything but i had to rescue it before the first frost that we just had hopefully it'll taste good we also grew some San Marzano tomatoes this year. These were seeds left from my husband's great uncle who's long past. We did pretty well. We brought them inside so they could finish ripening and turn red and we're still getting tomatoes. I finally finished sewing the front of this quilt that I've been working on. I've been gathering these squares from so many different sources, but mostly they're vintage fabrics that I cut up into these little squares. And now I just have to get the, um, I have some wool for the middle and then some fabric for the back, put it all together and then do a little possibly some stitchery on the top to hold it all together. But I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. It has a lot of mistakes and there's nothing perfect about it. But I think that's why I like it so much. <laughs> I also recently finished crocheting my second latte cardigan. This is a pattern that I released earlier this fall, but I added some cool pockets this time. I'm really happy I did. This was one of my test knitter's ideas and I'm so glad she thought of it. It has a v-neck and buttons down the front. I ordered these beautiful abalone buttons from an Etsy seller and they're so light and beautiful and shimmery and just perfect. Here 
is my second version of a vest that I have designed, but I haven't published this one yet. This one is knit with one strand of worsted weight wool and one strand of mohair, and it's knit with positive ease in a stockinette stitch. It has a split hem on the bottom with some ribbing, and in another version, I made the back longer than the front. In this version, both back and front are the same. This is a very easy piece to knit and pretty quick too. And here is version one of that same vest, knit up in some fall colors. This one I added just a little bit of a sleeve, just a couple of rows of ribbing. And as I mentioned on this one, the back is, sits longer than the front, which is another nice option. I decided it was time to take a watercolor painting course. And I'm so glad I did. I'm taking a course called Watercolors Made Simple, and every day I'll take one or two lessons and work them. I've been working on these little monthly watercolor um, paintings and drawings so that I can add them to a journal that I'm working on. It's a lot of fun and there's a lot of mistakes but I'm having a really good time of it and I find it more relaxing to me than knitting even, if, if you can believe that. There's just something about diving into a different process that uses a different part of your brain and it's opened up my creativity in a lot of different things and I really like that. So I plan to continue until this course is finished and then I plan to take some intermediate courses after this because that's how much I'm enjoying it. It really is a blast. This video is sponsored by Ben Q. Ben Q sent me the Genie e-reading desk lamp. I love this lamp. It has a sturdy base and a very strong arm that's fully adjustable. What I love about this lamp is its ease of use. All you need to do is just tap it and it'll light up. Tap it again to turn it off. It's so much fun. <laughs> In the beginning, I just had to keep trying it out. This lamp is perfect for designing and for knitting. It has a 150% wider lighting coverage. It has a customizable color temperature with a cold white light as well as a warm yellow light. 
Um, this really helps with eye fatigue and eye strain and just makes for a more relaxing atmosphere when you want to turn that warm yellow light on after a long day of working. Now that I'm in my 50s and my eyesight has been going, I really was struggling um, being able to see while I was either writing at my desk, reading, or using my computer. Uh, This lamp just helps me with all of those tasks, and I'm a much happier woman because of it.